Google has a lot of different tools to help you collaborate with your team. Right now, we're going to go over three different tools. We have Calendar, Meet, and Chat. Chat is a new feature that Google just released. So we're going to spend a little bit more time in that and describing how that works with creating rooms, chatting with your coworkers and everything else. As we jump in, I do want to remind you guys to go and hit that subscribe button, give a thumbs up to this video. It really does help support this channel so I can continue to make videos like this for you and helping you in your business. Also, if you want to continue this conversation, go ahead and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you like or how you collaborate with your team in Google. Also, I do stream on Twitch every Sunday and Thursday night, so you can join me there and chat with me live. Ask me questions, tell me what feature you use in Google, which ones you like, which ones you don't like. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in and focus on our collaborating in Google. All right, moving into Google Calendar. It's a pretty simple app. So I'm gonna hop in and I'm just gonna show you some quick things about it. Let's go ahead and start. Like I said before, in the nine icons, you click on it, click on calendar, and it brings you to your calendar. Calendar is a really simple app. If you click on any space, it'll create a one hour appointment. You just add a title like test event, and then you're going to add a guest like the test user if you want to. Um, and since you are in the Google workspace environment, it does create a Google meet meeting for this meeting, which is really nice because then they can just go to the meeting and they can pull it up and you guys can meet virtually very easily. Uh, then you can add any description or attachments and save it and send it. So you'll send it. And now you have an event in here that when you're ready to start, you can go join Google meet. Or if it's a personal meeting, you can just go and meet with them at that point. The other options go in the top left, click create. Uh, it puts it down at around the time it starts. If you ever want to click on more options, this brings in all the different options. Um, you add your title, like new meeting. What's really cool about find a time is if you have people in your meeting, it will look at their calendars and try to suggest times where they're also free. So that's a really handy feature right there. Uh, but then just like it before you put in the stuff you need and then you click save or change the dates make it reoccurring you want a weekly custom reoccurring you can do all of that uh, and then go ahead and save it and you're done like i mentioned the calendar app is pretty simple so we're gonna go ahead and leave it at that and move on all right for this one guys i had to change my background because it's a little hard to see this left pane over here what we're going to talk about now though is chat so if you want to chat with a team member it's super easy. You just click add, type in the person, click their name, and you can just start chatting with them. Press enter, sent that chat. What's really important though, if it's the first time you're chatting with them, you have to open it and invite them to chat with you. Uh, so like, let's say if I wanted to chat with myself, they're external. So it lets you know that you click them. And what happened is you just sent them an invite that says, hey, I wanna chat with you. So until they respond, they won't really see these messages. So they have to respond first and say, yes, I will accept it. And you'll be able to start chatting with them. Um, so that's kind of chatting individually. Then if you do a room, so like tech topics, uh, we click that. So what you'll see here is two different conversations started. So one's Google Workspace and one's just a generic conversation thread these are different conversations so if you respond in this one it responds here it keeps the conversation here and does not affect the one below if i want to respond to this conversation i have to click in the other box and respond to this one so that's really important as you start chatting with your team and they're chatting in different spots just remember that is a conversation threaded chat um and if there's any files sh shared with your team you could also create tasks within this room uh, which is really handy if you uh, want reminders or anything that a certain team member should be doing. So back to chat, you could, uh, like, like it says, you can upload files, you can link something to Google Drive. Uh, you can even start a video meeting right in this chat with this team. But let's say you want to start a new room. You're going to click on add and you're going to create a room. I'm going to call this my new room. Very clever. I know. So add. The only people that have access to this room are the people you invite. If they're not invited, they can't search for the room. So you have to make sure that you 
um, invite people that you want to be in here. If I want this to be like a private room, uh, let's with just myself, then I could create it now. If you want people outside of your organization to join, you can click this checkbox and then invite people outside of your org. But be careful with that as always. Uh, make sure you're not inviting them to the wrong room. But since I don't really want that, I'm going to leave it unchecked and I'm going to create my new room. And right now, anyone in my organization, if they search for room, they wouldn't be able to see it because they're not invited to the room. Once you're in the room, there's no permissions inside of the room. So you're not able to say, okay, well, this person can add tasks. This person can do this. It's just they're in the room or they're not in the room. So quick overview of meetings. If you do want to have a meeting with somebody on the fly, you're going to click on them in chat and just click this little meeting button, send it to them and it invites them to the meeting. And you can click join meeting, they can click join meeting, and then you're in and ready to go. The best way is to schedule your meeting like we did in calendar. Um, and then you can send it out to them, join the meeting at any time. That's going to be the easiest way to send meetings and join meetings. If you do need to start a new meeting just in itself really quickly, uh, and you want to invite more than one person, go ahead and click new meeting, just join it first. Uh, and then, so go ahead and join. And then what you'll do is you'll copy this meeting link in, or copy joining info and send it out to people. They can join by phone or they can join by the link. If you're going to send this link out though, it's really important that you pay attention to who you're sending it to because unlike in zoom or other meeting platforms, there's no pin to get in the meeting uh, or password. It's literally just the link and they're logged into their Google account that offs them in. Uh, so be careful who you send it out to this pin here is for your voice call in to let you know which meeting that you're joining. So just be careful who you send it out to. And that's the quick overview of me. Again, thank you so much. I really hope that this video helped you out in some way and that you were able to collaborate with your team more effectively. Um, but if you haven't, go ahead and give that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I really do look forward to seeing you around and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much.